hey what is up guys so there has been a reason why i haven't been uploading a lot of world war 3 videos or uploading a lot of videos last week i think i uploaded like three videos but if you guys haven't played valheim you guys are freaking missing out honestly i didn't think that this game was going to catch my attention or get me so involved into it so you get brought in on this big ass bird his name's huggin or hugin or whatever but he's kind of like the guy that helps you with the tutorial like he tells you what to do pretty much you have a mission that you need to defeat this god called eric eric thar eric thar I, I i can't pronounce his name but i was like you know what let's just get straight into it i started farming i started hunting uh cutting trees down and if you don't think you'll like this i don't know i i like this type of games where you can just like farm like for hours on end like if you guys didn't play world of warcraft this might not be the game for you because world of warcraft you had a grind and you had a farm and in this one is exactly the same thing but i decided to just keep venturing out into the forest no biggie i was like i got this and i entered into the black forest and i was like all right he's telling me to turn back this is a dangerous place and i was like you know what yeah i'm gonna have to disagree bro this game seems pretty easy and I'm enjoying the scene. I'm like, wow, this is, wow, this is beautiful. This is great. And, you know, I was like, dude, look at these little graylings. These guys are, these guys ain't nothing. And then I realized, oh, these aren't graylings. These are gray dwarfs. These are totally different types of enemies. And I was like, okay, well, let's see what I can do. I think I can kill them. And, well, well, take a gander here. <laughs> And, um, you know what? I, I came back. Came back for seconds. Thinking I could do it. I ended up running away. Huggins, uh, stopped me for a little bit. And I'm like, nah, I got these. These guys are, these guys are weak. And I was like, I got them, bro. They're so hello. And, uh, no. They're not. So, after a while, I found this little house. And I ended up fixing it up myself. So, of course, I went back to farming again. I was like, let me build up my base. Let me get better at this game before I start going out into the black forest. I didn't know at the time that there was a thing called a grayling and a gray dwarf and more enemies to come. But I went back to farming, I went back to cutting wood, picking up stone and increasing my base. If nobody knows, I don't have really great creative mind. So I ended up just finding this little like burn down little house and I ended up fixing it up a little bit. I ended up putting a workbench and sooner or later this becomes my base. After I started doing my base, I went to go hunt. So yes, in this game, you do need to hunt. Um, you need leather scraps. You need a deer hide to make leather tunics, leather whatever it is, leather helmets. And it's, I don't know if anybody will like this, but for me, this is great. I don't mind farming for wood and stone to increase a base and then going straight into the woods to hunt. It's not a problem for me. This is this is what really gets me going, bro. Like one day I'm doing wood and stone, and then another hour, one day, another hour I'm hunting for a freaking deer or boar because I need to get my armor up. I need to be able to take a little bit more hits. But let's keep going. Whoa, that's a big boy. That's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. Oh, and he took off more than 20% of my health. I ain't fighting no gray doors. Oh, right. I'm scared of that. So here I was able to get a chopping block, which increased my things to level up my certain stuff i was able to make leather helmet i was able to make a leather tunic i was able to make a bunch of things and i started upgrading i was like it's time for me to do something i've been playing for a few not for a few days but for a few hours already and i was like it's time for me to go to the next step and i think that's what i did so let me tell you i thought i was like a big ass boss and i was like you know what let's make a sacrifice Holy shit, dude, I made a sacrifice <laughs> And, well, this is how it went. Oh. 
I defeat the boss. I'm not gonna lie, I did defeat the boss, but it was just by myself. There's no way I was gonna go one on one, like hand to hand combat with this motherfucker. I was like, nah, I have bow and arrow, and I ended up uh, killing him with bow and arrow. And after you defeat the boss, you can take his trophy to one of these shrines or to the shrine, and you attach it on there, and you get a power. Yes, your boy Jam Jam had no idea how to do it, I just wasn't looking at hmm. the hook. So, but I figured it out. Jump stamina used to make the 60%, run stamina make the 60%. Uh, did you guys enjoy my friend singing? That's Matthew in the background. He likes to sing to me every time I play. <laughs> but besides the point, so when you got the power, you lose, you use less jump stamina and running stamina. So, like, man, I was just running through the forest like I was a big badass motherfuck, but you know what I mean. This game is pretty dope, though. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this big thing? There's a oh no way. Skills lowered. No, I lost skill. Yeah, so so best believe your boy went back for revenge. I was like, there's no way this guy's gonna kill me. I'm like, I can kill everything. After I kill a boss, I was like, if I, if I can kill a boss, I can kill a troll. And I did. I did. I'm proud of myself. <sighs> so, um, I, I'm sorry because I found this cave slash dungeon or whatever you want to call it. And I died so many times in here. Like, you guys have no idea how many times I died in here. But, I did get what I wanted. So, I guess it wasn't that bad. So after I did ended up clapping this one skeleton, I ended up getting the startling core or scartling core, whatever you call it. 
But I saw that if I went up to this rune here and I pressed E, it showed me the location of the Elder. Now the only thing I can suggest is that the Elder is another boss. And best believe, best believe your boy's gonna go find that boss. <laughs> this game just keeps getting better and better. This, this, the world is so huge. My next episode for this, if it does good or if you guys do want to see it, I have it with my cousin and we start exploring. Dude, I was so scared to explore by myself, but I had a companion with me, so that's going to be great to see. So from that cave that we just went through, I ended up building a smelter. So I needed to make something that makes coal, which is a charcoal kiln. Now, I don't have enough freaking Skirtling Core. I only have four out of five. So it's like I need one more. So for sure, I'm debating that this Elder that I have to go to and kill will have the last Skirtling Core that I need. Or if I just find another dungeon, then I'm going to be able to make this coal thing and I'll be able to smelt my ore and to redefine ore, something like that. But, oh my god, Valheim is so fun, it's so addicting. Don't worry, World War 3 community out there, Reddit. I'm still gonna be on World War 3, it's just that, uh, this game is getting my attention, like, a whole lot. On the next episode of Valheim. I'm ready to run away, bro. Oh! <laughs> I'm fighting this fool. Oh no, for real? I'm coming back in, bro. I exited, I exited. Oh no, there's a go fool! He killed me. God damn it! <laughs>